Hey, it's Pete, just doing a log cabin type build and uh, I'm just running three circuits to here. I've got uh, main switch surge protection, uh, lighting's in conduit I'll show in a second, 2.5 for heaters and 2.5 for sockets, just a radial. Six sockets, seven when they figure out where they're going to put the big TV. And uh, it's a sub main, so it's going to be protected the other end by. Uh, an MCB, just a circuit breaker, and up this end it's going to have the RCD protection built in. Each one's got a fly lead, better than some. They had uh, they used to have earth fly leads as well. So, so three of them. It's a six-way board. Ten, if you count the main switch and surge protection device. I've been using these Illusion ones uh, recently. Uh, they're quite reasonably priced. And they, uh, they, they really do, they're quite solid. They, 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 there's no flex or bend on them. Uh, we've got an armor coming in. I could do my fly lead on there. Got the gland under there. I accidentally bought the exterior ones. But it is what it is. Uh, I haven't got any number eight cleats with me. Um, that goes down there. Also running two data cables, ready for a cabinet. Uh, I'm just gonna make off this board and then go get some more materials. This is sort of filler job. So I've basically done six sockets along the back. Um, it's got external conduit to hide as much as possible. The back is like 18 inches, you know, 450 from a wall. Um, and there's two, oh, you can't see that one. There's two heater points. Got to pick up a couple of heaters for there. Uh, the lighting, as I say, is conduit. And we've got conduit coming across the ceiling to a first or middle light. And then I had to drill really carefully through the beams to get the conduit through, oh, it missed a saddle, um, to the light on one side. And then again, go through that side. I did put the saddle in that one, to that light. So there's three lights in here. And if we go back to the center, there's a conduit coming out of that end to an emergency light. And then along and down to a light switch. Um, yeah, so it's not, not really been too bad. It's been a little bit fiddly um, to get underneath the cabin back to the board and I had to put, um, obviously, conduit up the back because uh, we go from this socket, hop over, up, and in the back. So there's, a two, there's two adaptable boxes uh, outside, one up high, one down low, one tee box in the middle. Uh, I would show you, but it's really noisy out there, so um, backing onto our main road. Let me know what you would have done differently. Maybe we'll actually we'll have a little walk around, but it means I'm going to have to edit the video together. I was hoping to do this in a, in a one-shot format because, uh, as always, time is my enemy. So this is the back of the cabin. Obviously, wherever there's a box that goes through into the thing. Go through here, through here, through here, through here. I am aware that the cabin will shrink and uh, expand with the with the um, with the weather. So I haven't. I've only glued one end of the conduits, so it can pull up and down uh, and go from there. So there's two adaptable boxes. It doesn't matter what's happening on the back. Um, and then obviously I've run underneath in copex and up to each heater point. Can't really see much around there. So yeah, just got to get some clips. Hold that in out of the way. Just re just using the the copex that I have left over. Uh, from various odd jobs so yeah and obviously lighting comes out the top and all the way through to there so let me know what you would have done differently I mean uh, I don't normally like using a light fitting as a, as a junction point because if that light fitting goes wrong then you've got a source exactly the same or you have to trim and trim the conduit down or pull the cables out it's really fiddly but for this I think it's probably the best option Otherwise, you're going to end up with conduits going everywhere, and it's it's one of those one of those cabins where they want everything to be kind of concealed as much as possible. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.